Let's go. All right, guys. What up, man? It's Ethan Cole for Power 96.1. And iHeartRadio. I'm so glad. We got Sophia Carson in the studio. How you doing? I'm so good. How are you? I wish I got the memo that we were wearing something shiny today. I should have let you know last night. That, that was honestly, my bad. I should have DM'd dude, you. Okay. Re- real quick, before yeah. we get into it. So obviously, we know Purple Hearts is out on Netflix. Yes. I watched it last night for the first time. I, I mean, we, I DM'd you. It was, it was an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. I know because like you hear about it. You hear it and then like you know Purple Hearts. Because it's, you know, if you get a yeah. purple heart for getting injured in, in the service. Yeah. So I knew, like, somewhat what to expect. I did not expect it to be, like, that much of a roller coaster out here. That was, oh, by the end, though, I was feeling good. I was Thank feeling Thank you. Nice. Good, yeah. good. I'm glad. It was glad. a good ending. Trust me, trust <laughs> me. But I wanted, to, I wanted to talk to you about it. So let's, I mean, I want to dive right in. Because, sure. you know, obviously everybody knows you, actress and singer. So I feel like this movie comes about. Yeah. How much were you involved in doing it? Just because it's like, I mean, I feel like this was like you perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so it's been five years in the making, and okay. I came on board. Five, wait, five years? Five years. Ooh, okay. and, the, and actually, for, for one of our producers, it's been 10 years in the making. But I came on board five years ago. My director, Liz Allen, we were working together on Pretty Little Liars. Okay. And she reached out to me, and actually she came up to set um, – around Christmas, and she gave me a script and said, Merry Christmas. Stop. So she just knew it was a banger off the, just she, like, this She is always it. knew, and it was a very rough version of the script. Okay. She said that she wanted to come on board together as more than just director and actor, but as producers and partners. No way. So okay. this was my first time being a part of, you know, bringing a film to life from every aspect of it. From, okay. All right, so it wasn't, you weren't just on the screen, you were, no, you were literally doing developing the script, here. pitching the movie, writing the soundtrack, casting. So um, that's what I love, because I want, I do want to get in the soundtrack. Yeah. I thought, like, right off the bat, the fact that Thank you turned, you. Uh, was Sweet Caroline, was it, yeah. turned into a nice, like, what would you call it, like, pop punk kind it's of It's a, co- yeah, it was kind of like an indie rock I and love, roll like, was that, so was that you? Like, who's like, hey, we got to switch this up, Neil. So I worked with Justin Tranter, who's okay. iconic songwriter mm-hmm. on the soundtrack, and, you know, part of Cassie's story, or all of Cassie's story, is literally told through our soundtrack. In yeah. the music, you track, I guess, her progress as a character and her arc, and in the beginning, uh, you know, she's too scared to open up and sing her own music yeah, yeah, so she yeah. sings covers and we really wanted to kick off with a really just a cover that felt also perfect for san diego perfect right? for oceanside perfect for a bar like the one yeah, that she works dude. at and just like that really sets the tone and we did like a kind of indie rock and roll cover of sweet caroline and it was perfect and uh, and i love that you brought up san diego too because yeah. i used to live there what i want to know so obviously the fact that it's like acting and singing so that makes sense for you perfectly yeah the surrounding bit of it, like obviously the script, what made you feel like, okay, I want to go this route where it has to do like, you know, with the military service like that. Was that like something that like you just found important or just the script was that good? No, or? absolutely. I definitely found it important because it is a love story, but it's a love story with really important yeah. messages and oh, really yeah. timely and relevant messages and stirring important conversations. So I've always loved being a part of films that have a really have yeah. impact and have meaning. Yeah. So I love that very much. And it's based on true stories as well, yeah, which okay. is important. Yeah. Now what I do want to know is because so obviously you were with it for the since the beginning yeah. kind of situation. Luke. Yes. How much of a how much of a play did you so pick? Like who was coming much. into it? Nick was actually my choice. That was the first choice. He well, I had for years every time I would go to the movies, I would like and I would see an actor that I liked. I was like, Liz, this is our Luke. Liz, this is our Luke. Stop. So I had a list together and then we were doing chemistry reads with actors, which is like when you put two people together and test their chemistry essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was through Zoom because we were in the pandemic. And um I met Nick through Zoom. He was in London and I was in Los Angeles and we just had an insane amount of chemistry right off the bat. through Zoom, which is kind of hard to That's, do. Yeah, that is kind of wild. Yeah. So wait, so what year would you have put this at when this was? A year ago. This is this more is than a year, a year ago. This is like last April. Okay, okay, okay. And um, I something just felt like we clicked, like we were Cassie and Luke together, and he was always my pick, and um, I'm so happy that. Well, yeah, I worked out it worked perfectly. Because yeah. I was just like, oh, because, you know, you guys in the movie come, you know, different backgrounds, different views on things. Yes. And then, like, you're just like, all right, we got two hot characters, so we want, like, we want them to like each other. Yeah. But, ooh, that's going to be tough. It's, and then by the end, correct. It's I was these, like, come on. It's like, these two no. people who, like, hate how much they love each other, but yeah. they can't help but love each other so oh, desperately, yeah. Goodness, I do. No, it was perfect. <laughs> so, all right, so I love, because in, in this day and age, too, obviously, like, we were talking about TikTok before we yeah. got started in this. I'm curious, like, what you were thinking, what was going through your mind as far as, like, because you, you mean you put out, we got Come Back Home and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Great song. Like, how much of it were you, like, waiting to like showcase this song like more like focus on the movie or like I, like blowing up the song you know because like how visual stuff kind of adds to yeah it. you know honestly my most what I wanted to accomplish with this soundtrack was just really bringing Cassie's story to life and like servicing the script and our movie and 
creating those moments like what you saw that are just heart wrenching yeah, and that you dude. feel the love between these two people. <laughs> so I never imagined that these songs would blow up in the way that they have. You did, oh come on, you didn't I think prom- so? Not, not. Like, no. For, but honestly, none of us imagined that this That's film cool, would then. take off the way. Like it's the seventh most watched film in the history. Isn't that crazy? Of Netflix, it broke what the was record. It like, oh, it's over a billion streaming oh, hours. Or oh whatever, yes, right? for sure. It's it's it's. Insanity, and you know our our soundtrack has gone viral. Come back home has gone viral. So it's nuts. It's been beautiful, and I'm so so happy. How does it? So because like obviously Netflix changing the game like completely yeah. with you know streaming and everything yeah. like that. How does it feel? Because like usually when you hear like a hit movie, it's like okay they sold so and so many tickets. Gro- yeah. Like so how does it feel like seeing like you get the text from the management or whatever? Yo, top it's ten all time. All, no, it was insane. After our first four days, we got a call from our exec at Netflix, and he was like, I just want you to know that the hours that were because they track hours yeah, yeah, yeah. the hours that we're tracking are not normal and then two weeks passed and then we got the news yeah it was it made history and I'm, I, I'm so grateful I'm just so 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 grateful That's awesome. well, okay so I do know that it's been done in the past one of which was in Black Mirror Miley Cyrus did her kind of character oh yeah and we think are we thinking is Cassie gonna get a little tour going now post you know what there there is talks of that because the soundtrack it. has done so well I really yeah. would love to perform these songs oh, yeah. oh, for yeah. people um, the day that the movie actually came out, I was performing. I had a concert in Italy. Oh, perfect. And I sang Come Back Home the day that our movie went number one. And, and everybody knew it? Were they singing? The, yeah, so that day people were coming. And they're like, I just watched the movie. I was singing the song. I was like, that's so crazy. It just came out like an hour ago. I know. Oh, it was really God. special. No, that's nuts. I mean, that's great. It's coming through. And then you got all the, obviously, you got all the, the covers that you did for that movie yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So then, all right, well, let's talk Sophia Carson the okay. singer then. So, all right, so I know we're riding high off of this. Yeah. What can we expect, like, from you? Because I know, I know we got a lot of stuff that you got going on. We got music coming in the future a part of this or yes i mean you know i'm really taking in this moment yeah. and like kind of focusing on right now if yeah, you that ca- makes you, sense the schedule's got to be nuts it's, right now yeah right? it is nuts right now <laughs> um, i'm like in a different city every day but it's so exciting oh and, yeah oh yeah um but yeah i'm definitely reading a lot of scripts okay um thinking of what to release next musically as well um working on a couple of projects kind of all at the same time oh, yeah. but it's really exciting when you when you break it down just when you're i mean Try, I try to be talented at one thing. It's not You are? So you kidding? Stop it. But when you're talented at two things that are huge, like, do you find yourself, like, how do you weigh, like, okay, I should put more effort into this, into that? Like, do, is there question. something that you look at? You know, I've I've always felt that I'm a storyteller first and foremost, so I love storytelling, whether it is through music or through film. And I've been lucky that in my career, I've been able to kind of balance doing both. And in a movie like Purple Hearts, where it brought both together yeah. so beautifully, it was kind of perfect but I just kind of kind of go through the seasons like I focused a lot of music this year with my album coming out and I think now the focus will be a bit more film and then it'll be music or both at the same time I mean time. Yeah, that's what it, I'm telling you when yeah. you put Cassie on tour out here we, <laughs> might, we might have a hit album hit movie totally. all that kind of stuff what about I don't know I was trying to think part two is that could that be a talk could that be a discussion you know it's been crazy the demand that we've gotten for it, and I'm so grateful that people have loved the movie so much that they want to see you know where it right. goes um Anything is possible. I, like I loved it. Cassie, and I loved bringing the story to life. So it'd be interesting to see where it goes. Okay. There's options. TBD. There's options. TBD. We'll see. We'll see what. We'll hey, see. if you guys keep loving it, then exactly. we know. Keep putting it out. I mean, not like you need any more love on it. because <laughs> Over those billions of streams, I yeah. love it. Okay. Well, how about you personally? Like, how are you doing? You good? Like, life is I'm good. So I'm mean, so good. How are you, ha- bro? I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see this camera. <laughs> It's we're in Atlanta, by the we're way. Atlanta, it's I'm, humid. I'm from California. There's I got some powder if you want. Honestly, it. I could have used but that. But you're just glowing, you know. You're good. Well, I'm hyped because you're here. You're I mean, so sweet. I know. I know. There's a lot of stuff going on. I know we got Harry Styles and Taylor Swift behind us. I know you guys us. can't. I don't know if you can see it, but we have Harry Styles and Taylor Swift cutouts in the room, and they're my two favorite artists. Right, and I was like, like Ethan, did you know? I had no did idea. Did you do this? I had no idea. It's so meant to be. when I throw this Harry Styles Taylor Swift party, you're coming <gasps> on stage. Oh, I am. I'm gonna belt the all too well ten minute version so hard with you. Is that all right? So all time favorite artist Taylor Swift. Oh, that's tough for all time. Definitely up there. She's Taylor up there. and Harry are definitely what up there. What would you, one above the other, which one, which one are you thinking? I think I'd put Taylor, right. Taylor first. Wow. I was going to say, so a Taylor Swift concert on one night in LA or whatever? Oh, yes. Harry, St- Harry Swa- Styles Oh, they're night. both playing? Same night. Who are you going to? Well, the thing is, here's my easy answer. I already saw Harry and I haven't seen Taylor in concert. Ma- How so. are you not? She's not I saw her at, I heard at the Jingle Balls. Okay, okay. So I saw her perform like, but you need, like set, a set, but I didn't do a full like experience. A full, like that ready for it intro and oh. stuff like that, dude. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wildest dreams. It. All too well. I can't they got they got them all, dude. The ten minute version. So okay, because I know, like I know, we talked about the movie. I kind of just, what are you thinking, like as far as like you know, just stuff you're doing outside of it. Like you, you got anything else? I don't really on? do much just, else. Is it really work? just straight working, working, working? I work a lot. Yesterday I went to a guy's. 
pop by a restaurant really quickly to have some dinner after here in I Atlanta? landed. Yeah, here in Atlanta. Okay. And I was just reading a script while I was eating, and there was I was sitting at the bar, and like everyone next to me was pretty lit. No. And they were like, "Sweetie, take a shot." And I was like, "No, I'm working. So sorry." And they Dude. were like, "Like you need a better work life balance." Well, and I'm more. Like, <laughs> I'm more curious. Wait, so when you read scripts, you go out to the bar? Not usually, but I had to. I had to so, get like, a down lot and done. Shot? No, I was literally eating dinner and okay, drinking okay, water. Okay. But I was just wanting to get out of the hotel. And I was reading my script, but everybody was just getting lit around me. I got it. You got to like, partake. I have to. I have to work. I'm so sorry. Like you have. And I was like, I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, all I do is work essentially. Oh, <laughs> but I mean, like you're 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 living the life. So it's kind of I like lo- it's I nice. honestly, I really love what I do. Well, so when was the last time you took a break? Like, did you get to take a break? Um, did you feel finish not, filming this last year? Not really. Not really. Um, yeah, not really. But I, I'm I'm good with it. Like you're I really really love working. I yeah. like it. I mean, you know, it's when it gets to go when you get totally. to come and do this, you know, and you get to do all that so i mean having the big well, okay another good question so big movie all-time streaming on netflix or yeah. mega sold the most tickets of all time in the theaters what do you, do you think oh oh if theaters choo- versus yeah. Ne- yeah what would you choose i mean i'll take either it's, honestly both is, epic. Point, yeah, I mean? both is epic yeah well because I, I feel like just the general question is it's just like what does it take to get like another movie you know like if the streaming numbers are good so i mean like i feel like if you're top 10 that's kind of like Hey, whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's We're kind of, ready to go. To, exactly. Dude, well, awesome. Which I'm so beautiful. glad you stopped by, man. You got, Thanks, you got to talk Ethan. about this stuff. I love the music. Come back home. Thank you so like, much. I mean, like I said, like I played it on my show. Yeah. It sounds good on the radio, but when you see it in the movie, if you've yeah. not seen the movie, bro, it hits different, especially when it was right. Yeah. Because that was the song that you did when they had that tough a, ex- little situation, exactly. right? We don't oh. want to give it away, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not giving anything away, but yeah, when they come back and I'm like, oh, man, this yeah. is good. I was crying, dude. Like, that's, I think that's Thank what I damned you. you. Yes. I was like, this is what's going to compel me. You're like, I needed a warning, Sophie. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I should have known. It's called Purple Hearts. You learned things. Yeah. But honestly, thank you so much for Thank you, Ethan. This was it. awesome. Awesome, guys.